Hi everybody, happy Saturday. It is Saturday, right? No, it's Monday. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it's a Saturday to us, kind of. It's Saturday to Every us because we are with the kids yeah. and there's no school. Yeah. <laughs> and it's basically like Saturday for the third day in a row. <laughs> oh my God. But we're managing, like, oh my gosh, Ezekiel is swinging on the bars. So the kids are all playing right now and I'm gonna tag you. <laughs> I love that this whole video started out with Happy Saturday. Um, just <laughs> to funny, throw last, you off. Last night I was like, Ethan, make sure you have your stuff ready for school tomorrow. And he was like, I don't have school tomorrow. I'm like, what day is it? And I'm like, oh, Monday. Why do you not? Oh, yeah. Okay. Like, oh, veterans. Oh, the veterans. Right. And then the mail came today and it really confused it me. And the trash. I don't know. Oh. I don't know what if it was special delivery, but anyway. special delivery. Special <laughs> delivery is maybe it was maybe it was not USPS. But anyway, so we are. Um, talking about Ethan, Ethan keto stuff you guys take it easy <laughs> and gonna flip out of the <laughs> stroll, out of the swing not here. too high you guys I know yes you are okay so we were talking about keto stuff and losing fat and this has been a really really interesting conversation especially because I have several friends who are on the keto diet or have been following that kind of lifestyle and have started adding the uh, this good stuff into their life and um, sometimes they're not getting their results sometimes they're, they're like the fat is just coming off so we're like what is up with that what 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 do people need to know about being on a keto lifestyle while taking these therapeutic ketones exogenous ketones because they are not a crutch they're not meant to be like oh now you've got the ketones I can just like pig out on whatever I want yes. and eat cheeseburgers and fries it's not that especially if you want to lose fat so I'm gonna let Leah um, speak to that what do you have to say to us okay so and what do you recommend for people who do want to lose fat in their so this? Um, I'll start by just saying the most important thing is that people um, wherever it is that you're um, coming from in your diet um, integrating the ketones um, on a daily basis or go is going to influence and affect your body um, now depending on different people's goals that's where some of this kind of shifts and changes if someone's currently following a keto ketogenic diet and not just following the diet but they're actually testing their blood level ke yeah. their ketone levels poking their fingers and they know that they are in ketosis and that their body is keto adapted uh, if they start drinking the ketones and they're looking for fat loss they haven't gotten to their goal um, then what is different about what happens in your body if you're following a ketogenic diet or nutritional ketosis versus drinking exogenous ketones is that when you're drinking the ketones you're drinking the ketones and within an hour you're getting into ketosis independent of your diet so even if you have some glucose, it's not going to kick you out of ketosis because you're not depending on your liver or your body to um, create ketones. So this is the power and the exciting um, innovation which our exogenous ketones are, is that you are able to get into ketosis and you're not depending on a very high fat diet in order to do that. Now, if you're, if you're following a ketogenic diet and you want to drink ketones and use that as a, as a tool to get you your goals faster, that is absolutely possible. Um, but what I would say is that, uh, and we can you know, post some videos here on here to, to further explain this, but if you're not at the, the weight loss that you, or the weight goal that you want to be at currently, then you are going to decrease the amount of fat that you're taking in. Think about doing more low fat, low carb, drinking the ketones, that's going to use, utilize your fat first to burn energy. So if you are um, following the ketogenic diet and you're drinking and you're wanting to use the, the ketones, just drink the ketones in the morning on an empty stomach, it's going to put you into fat burning mode and use your fat first in order to burn the fat and be able to get that fat off of you. And then when you get hung, and, and then you're drinking the ketones, and then when you get hungry, have something that's kind of low carb, low fat, mm. and that is going to be able to get you some faster results. If you're doing the ketogenic diet and you are already at your, yeah, it's 105. If you are following the ketogenic diet and you're already at the goal that you want to be in your weight, then you can maintain it and have um, f uh, like a higher fat content. But if people are following the ketogenic diet, they're drinking ketones, and they're also maintaining the super high fat diet, it's going to stall your, um, your, um, yeah, the progress, right? Yeah, your progress. Yeah. And, and there's a, there's a, a video that, or not a video, but a picture that we'll, um, post on this, um, kind of showing that. 
Yeah. So I think so, and, and this is what I was asking too because I know that. Does that make sense? Yes. So, and I want to make sure that everyone here is is clear on this. So, if you are wanting to lose fat versus maintain, if you just want to maintain, like when I started drinking this, I was I'm not trying to lose fat. What I want is a cognitive yeah, benefit. Neither. I want the energy. I need the energy. Okay, guys. Not not. It's not a, an artificial stimulant, caffeinated energy like you get from a Red Bull or whatever the heck you know Starbucks else or, whatever, or Starbucks right. or coffee. Um, but it's it's actual like energy source. These ketones are energy. So um, even if you drink the decaf, you're gonna feel it um but so anyway so my my, my big uh, question to leah on the way to the park was so what do people want to be eating and it's it's no different than eating a, a nice like well-rounded um whole foods based diet so if you're trying if you're trying to lose fat like she said drink this on an empty stomach make sure you hydrate first always always especially if you're doing it first in the morning make sure you're hydrated before you start because you're already dehydrated when you wake up um, but then that allows your fat that is already in your body to be used as your fuel you're using your body's stored fat as fuel instead of using your dietary fat and whatever else you're eating first so that that is that so let's say like that first meal might be a, a bunch of a, a colorful plate of veggies with some kind of protein and some nutrient, uh, dense. nutrient dense foods maybe some some quinoa later on something like something that, that but your body has to work to break down yes and do not eat until you are hungry yeah if you're not hungry at breakfast don't eat if you're not hungry at lunch i don't i haven't been eating until like 1 p.m it wasn't like that until about a month in for me it just naturally progressed in that direction but um but so this, that and this is also so the difference between how ketones affected you and me or anyone that already kind of has a healthier diet uh, that 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 makes sense but if someone is coming from a space of having a diet that is 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 very high in, in simple carbohydrates or it, it's something that is is not nutrient dense they're not getting you know the the good fats in it the complex carbohydrates if, if they all of a sudden start making huge shifts <laughs> she wants to be in it like, too. <laughs> I'm on, I'm on the one. Hi, if, buddy. If someone starts making um, really significant shifts in their diet, that can cause some of those um, keto flu type symptoms because their body is essentially um, being shocked by not having that 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 those the keto or the the sugar in their blood. Yeah. And so a lot of people who will start drinking ketones and then they like stop eating or they make these drastic changes to their diet. It's not the ketones that are causing that effect. It's them making this drastic change in their diet. So if your if your diet is not great and you start drinking ketones, just add in the ketones to your diet and that's naturally going to start curbing some of your cravings and um and and, and and not suppressing your appetite like like caffeine does which is a stimulant but it's suppressing your appetite because you're using fat as an energy source it's giving you a you longer got energy yeah because you're you're when you're when you're utilizing fat as an energy source it's it's suppressing your your appetite because you don't need to eat as long as much and as long because you're getting energy for a longer period of time does that make sense yeah and so i think that basically answers the second question that i have typed in the description was um Dad, Natalie says, hey, thanks for taking your husband for the service. Oh, thank you. Oh, yes. yes. Both of our veteran husbands. Yeah, yeah that is Who correct. Both, well, mine's working right now. Yeah, Ryan's at the chiropractor. <laughs> Her husband's working. And we're at the park. So we're winning. Um, <laughs> or are we? Because we're with all the kids. So. Oh, yeah. No, we're working. We're always working. This we're is full-time 24 hours. This is not a day off. Yeah, no. Let's not get into that. Like. No, let's not get into that. <laughs> um, so I think that answers the second question that I posed in here was, if, when, if they're not eating a keto diet, do, do they need to change anything in their diet? And you just answered it. Do not make drastic changes. Yeah. You will notice that your body wants to make some changes naturally yeah. as you continue taking it. And just listen to your body. Also, I would add to that, notice what kind of emotional attachments you may have to your food. Yeah. That was a big one. Uh, that's a big one that I see often that I hear of and that I experienced personally was my emotional attachment to food and just my time attachment to it. Like, oh, it's time to eat. Oh, the kids are eating, so I'm oh, gonna yeah. eat too. Oh, it's breakfast, I'm gonna make them pancakes. Actually, my kids' breakfasts have changed since I started doing this because their breakfast got a whole lot healthier. <laughs> my, yeah, that's funny because mine did too. Hey. Yeah. No more frosted flakes for you or uh, mini weeds for Not breakfast. Not anymore anyway. <laughs> hey! There's a whole box, and I haven't even I haven't oh, even oh. shopped in the cereal aisle oh. in weeks now at Costco. 
So, I think, was there anything else that we wanted to address about this? To change your diet. It just happens naturally. But you guys, if you're feeling, um, each, each person's system will respond differently. And also, oh, here's the other thing. So if someone says they've been eating keto, they're in the keto lifestyle, they're doing keto diet, the, the thing is, are you you, is your body actually ketogenic? Like, are you keto adapted, fat yeah. adapted? Yeah. And the only way to tell that, it's not just because you're eating low carb. You might just be eating low carb and not actually be in ketosis. Yeah. And you'll lose weight that way, but you're not in ketosis. So yeah. You might still experience a, like a keto less, flu type yeah, symptoms. Yeah, you might experience yeah. some keto flu type symptoms, which like some some kind of like GI, you know, gastrointestinal, some bloating, some uh, diarrhea. Little, little diarrhea, things like that. In which case, um, the general recommendation recommendation is to well get in touch with whoever it is that connected you with the product and um, and scale back on your dosage yeah the, the record I mean always you know just reducing your dosage um, it's gonna help your body just acclimate a little bit um, better yeah and then uh, build your way up right? yeah and then build your way up because your body's just it, it is adapting to a new fuel source that probably it's unless you know Except for when people were born, which were all born in ketosis, uh, they haven't probably been in ketosis since they were a baby, you mm -hmm. know, so um, their body has to transition and that just takes a little bit of time. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, it's interesting um, because I was, I was talking to a woman um, last week and she had gotten confused about the keto cream and the ketones and she thought mm -hmm. the keto cream was the same as the ketones and it's not. And so she was gaining weight because she was drinking all this keto cream and then drinking the MCT yeah. and then Jolly she was taking pets. coconut oil and then she was eating more keto and she's like I'm gaining weight this isn't working and I'm like no you're not drinking ketones you're not in ketosis and ketosis is what puts you into fat burning mode yeah so if you're eating a high fat low carb diet it does not mean that you are in ketosis yeah. the only Unless way you can tell you. yeah is if you are pricking your finger or getting that getting your blood drawn and actually having blood tests results that say you are in that range of ketosis otherwise it is all just kind of a conjecture a guess that maybe you're in ketosis maybe you're not and if you're not in a sustained state of ketosis yeah. you will not become keto adapted fat adapted so if you have been eating more keto-ish you know kind of diet and you start taking these ketones and you, you feel some of those symptoms like what are they the headaches the um the stomach upset. Stuff, yeah. It's like Mostly detoxing it's the, issues. Yes, I mean, like some people can experience stuff. their skin. Just if you drink ketones, you don't have to do all that. That's the whole uh, beauty of this is if you're drinking ketones within an hour of drinking Pruvit's therapeutic exogenous ketones that are unlike there is no other ketone um, product that is, is what ours is. It's bioidentical to what your liver produces if you were following a ketogenic diet. So you drink the ketones and then you're able to create sustain sustainability and have a wider nutrient intake you're able to you know do this you know every day forever and not have to you know count your macros and test your blood ketone levels and never indulge in something if you go out to dinner and you're you know want some chips and salsa it's not going to kick you out of ketosis so it's a sustainability factor and the ability to also just benefit from ketosis and have um, you know some nutrients that you would otherwise not be able to have if you were following keto strictly to get into ketosis so it's 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 an amazing tool for people no matter what their goals are whether they're weight loss focus sleep better sleep better energy better mood you know like Lucy I didn't go into this to lose weight it, it was more you know um, that my energy was horrible I, you know my mood I slept horribly and now I you know 11 months and I get all of the benefits from ketosis and it's 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 extraordinary yeah yeah and there was something that you were saying what? that I uh, something some thought was spurred and uh, I don't remember what it was <laughs> I don't know um, but if you guys have any questions nutrient intake or um, nutrient intake oh yes this is what it is okay so this is for me this is what I see I see this as these therapeutic exogenous ketones Just prove it okay top of the line stuff high quality no artificial bullshit any of that um, it is an opportunity and a tool to get more in touch with your own body. Yes. Okay, with your hunger cues, why you eat, why you're reaching for that food, what is it that you really need from that? Is yeah. your body like, you know, all this stuff. And it, it gives you an opportunity to become more acutely aware of what's happening in this mind body connection, too. So, I mean, really, if we put it simply, is eat whole foods, at, 
it, at the end of the day, this is like the, the yeah. bigger picture of the goal, eat whole foods, nutrient dense foods, drink a crap ton of water. Like if you, you think you're drinking a lot of water, drink even more. <laughs> you just can't go wrong. And, um, and, um, and, and just and enjoy just the enjoy process. It. I mean, yeah. it's, it's a lot about um, people overthinking, overanalyzing, just drink the ketones and, and just, you know, enjoy the, the layers and the things that are happening inside your body on a physical level, then that affects your emotional, mental, and even the social aspect of it. You know, it's the community, it's the friendships, it's the ability to go out and live your life and do, you know, do all the things that you want to be. It's how, where in your life, does uh, better need to show up that's what yeah. Mitch says and I love that you know like what part of your day do you feel like you need better in your life you know the energy the you know is the mornings or mornings hard or afternoons hard or evenings yeah. hard and then essentially that you know ketones help that uh, to create that ability for you to to show up better yes it give you energy to feel whatever it is that you want more of in your life to be taken to a next level um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, feel free Hi, to baby. reach out Hi, to Mia. us. Comment below with any um, questions yeah, or fun, thoughts huh? or your own experiences. I'm going to tag a couple people in this that um, I think would enjoy this message. Hi, Hi, and um, and we'll, we'll see you again soon. All right, guys. Happy bye. Monday. Happy Monday, Veterans <laughs> Day. More, more importantly, happy yes. Veterans Day and honoring all of the people, men and women, who have served oh, our yes. country. Yes. Yes. Liam. Thank Bye. you all. <laughs> Bye. Bye.